Hi guys doing today I'm gonna show you how to restore the original icons after an update as you can see right here I did an update for Peugeot and Citroen and uh, the auto basically reverted back to those generic icons uh, I'm gonna show you how to restore them uh, however the restoration process will be different depending on the process you use to acquire the original uh, icons in the first place uh, before we go any further let me just tell you uh, that it's that I strongly recommend that you update your auto device before you do any updates why well because after this update i did right here uh all of the icons uh for different brands that i had on this device basically turned uh into these black generic ones i don't know why auto did that maybe they can't use the original icons anymore i don't know but luckily because of the process uh i used to get the original icons in the first place I actually bagged them up so uh, I have them on this device so I can use them for the diagnostic application okay first let me show you uh, how to revert the original icons uh, uh, for this device, for this particular device, the Mexicom MK908. Uh, I don't know if you saw the video, but I'm gonna post it in the uh, description section of this video. Uh, I had to use like alternative way to get these icons uh, because the usual way from the videos I found on YouTube uh, the usual process simply did, simply did that did not work. Uh, <clears throat> the process I saw on YouTube basically showed me to go into scan folder, then vehicle, then any brand, let's say Jeep or whatever. And in that process, if they delete like these two unoriginal icons, like the original icon would appear in the uh, in the diagnostic app uh, I couldn't do that what I had to do I had to copy like for example this icon right here for the Jeep then I would have to go uh, to hidden folder right here then basic and I would have to paste it right here and rename it after the generic black icon that was located here after I would restart the app uh, the app would show this original icon right here however now after I did an update I noticed that the diagnostic app does not pull the PNG file from this folder anymore as you can see right here uh, I just did an update for uh, Citroen and Peugeot and let me show you this right here here's the Citroen logo right here it didn't change it didn't do nothing and still like the logo in the diagnostic app itself is black why well for some reason they are pulling the logo right now from this folder right here and if I go to let's say Citroen you can see right here all I have is all I have are these black logos so if you basically acquire the original logos with the same process I did on this device then all you have to do is go back to this hidden folder right here then basic uh, then you find the logo you want to replace here's the Citroen one you copy it you go back to vehicle folder uh, here's the Citroen I'm gonna 
paste it right here. However, for this to work, I have to delete these four icons and rename the original logo after one of these icons right here. So I'm gonna delete them. Okay, and I'm gonna rename this one to car PNG. Okay, if we restart the Mexicom application, you will see the Citroen logo is right here. So that basically worked. If, uh, if you used the usual way to acquire the original icons, like the way you can find on YouTube in multiple videos, then you would have to have uh, your device backup right here as I do have on this USB stick. If you don't have it, you have to find each individual individual logo online and you, you would have to create PNG file, put it on USB device and you would have to like copy it into the vehicle folder. So you basically have to copy it into any brand folder you want to change. So if you use the, that usual way to acquire the original icons, and you have the backup for your auto device, uh, then you would have to basically do this. I'm gonna find Peugeot right here. Okay, here are the icons. You basically don't have to remember the name because you, you can just type car PNG because that's the shortest and easiest to remember. I'm gonna delete, delete these four icons. I'm gonna plug in uh, my USB device. As you can see right here, I can click on it. I'm gonna find the backed up folder, Europe. Here it is. And here is the car PNG. Actually, I'm gonna use this logo right here because it's better quality. Uh, I'm gonna copy it. Then I'm going, I'm gonna go to the SD card, scan folder, vehicle, Europe. Uh, and I'm gonna paste it right here. Since it's called uh, after one of the black icons we erased, I don't think we have to rename it. And let's just try if, if this works right here. I'm gonna restart the Mexico map. European. Here's the Peugeot right here. So that's basically all you have to do. Now the problem is if you didn't back up uh, the files on your auto device, then you would basically have to go online. I'm gonna show you the process that I use uh, to get the icon. I did the one for Ford because the one on the auto, even the original one was kind of crappy and I wanted to get the better one. You just type in the uh, Ford logo on Google and let's find one. For example, this one right here. I'm gonna copy it. Uh, I'm gonna open the Photoshop. Okay, let me paste it. As you can see right here, even, even though it has these little squares, it doesn't have a transparent background. So we would have to cut it out of here uh, to create uh, the basically the real PNG file. So let me do this real fast. Okay. 
okay that has to be perfect for this demonstration so we, um, we're gonna cut it create a new file with the transparent background we're gonna paste it right here since this is kind of big we're gonna reduce it in size we're gonna make it 400 pixel width okay now I'm gonna save it uh, as you can see right here it says PNG 24 that's what it's supposed to be and I'm gonna save it to desktop I'm gonna type in forward and I'm gonna save it now that you got this file in PNG you have to transfer it to your USB device then you gotta plug in your USB device to your auto diagnostic tool and you have to copy it and paste it into the brand folder under the scan and vehicle folders and that is basically it I hope this video didn't get too complicated for you I hope I hope you find it useful and if you liked it please hit the like button and subscribe